shout out to Dave Johnson. Um, you know, obviously 25 years, kind of the host and voice of the uh, Wizards and incredible tenure, but also more importantly, the, the work that he's done, you know, with uh, the awareness to MS. Um, and obviously that's spearheaded tonight with, you know, $100,000 donation, which is a tremendous step forward. But, you know, keep pushing, you know, keep, uh, keep the word out. And obviously we want to try and uh, combat this thing full head of steam. So congratulations to you, Dave. And, uh, you know, thank you for all that you, you do and your efforts uh, in that cause. That's very nice, Wes. Um, how'd it go? That was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, you said you wanted to see what you had with Porzingis. Were there any surprises tonight? No, I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised, honestly, with his conditioning. You know, I know we, we had to be mindful of the stretches that he was going to play, mm -hmm. uh, but he handled it well. And, um, you know, we still had to kind of play the game to make sure we didn't go too far with the minute restriction, but it worked out well. I was going to ask, was checking him back in late in the fourth, was that within his minutes restriction? Are you, is that where you're kind of? <laughs> Maybe. No, he, it was, it was. So it was by design and okay. um, we wanted to kind of get him out so we could finish with him. And then uh, obviously late game, we wanted to get small. So we just stay in our switches, take away the three point line. Um, got to the, uh, he helped getting to the uh, free throw line also a bit more, but in terms of just kind of those little things you guys have been trying to tune up, yeah. uh, what was the difference tonight? Just our level of aggression. Um, you know, we knew, you know, defensively that they were going to really press our feet, attack the paint and, you know, and they, and they did that. It's another 60 point night in the paint, but um, we were aggressive on the other end as well. And it's, it's a good thing to see. And hopefully it reinforces some of the messaging that, you know, it's, it's just got to be a constant. And we can't play for fouls, but be aggressive, play through contact. Um, and when you get in the paint, it should be one, two, or three points. Whether you're at the rim, it's an and one, or, you know, kick out three. And, um, you know, we're shooting the three at a high clip right now. So those paint threes are, are really, you know, paying off. Um, you know, we're getting, we're getting in the paint. So all those things kind of work in concert. Wes, what, what uh, was your impression of KP's chase down block? So that's a big play. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's actually a better shot blocker, rim protector than people want to give him credit for. Uh, his length, he's got pretty good timing. But, um, you know, it's, it's just another element. We've seen it with Gaff. You know, TB gives you a different dynamic, but KP gives you another guy with length and size, agility around the paint. Um, so he, it's, a, it's a play that was surprising to see, but um, you knew going in that, that he's certainly capable of those type moments. The people who play the, in this league do things that are amazing every night. But for someone his height to do some of the things he <laughs> is able to do, it does, how unusual is it's, some of the promise that he brings to the court? Well, it's very unusual. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, not a surprise at all why he had the nickname the unicorn. Because <laughs> he's, he's one of a kind. And they, guys like that just don't pop up, you know, all the time. But... Uh, he's multifaceted, you know, he, he's, he's shown his ability to play off the bounce and for a guy seven, three, to put the ball down, you know, playing the post, obviously can pick and pop with range, all those things. Um, it's rare to find a guy with, you know, that skill set. Can you, can you see a time down the road or maybe next game where you guys can dictate how the other team has to, to match up with a supersized yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to, you know, kind of guess how other teams are going to match to you. You can speculate to, to, you know, knowing going in that they give up certain things or you may have an advantage in this area. But it's, um, you know, at times it's not, it's not always going to be that clean. But certainly as the game goes, you read the flow and you kind of see what you like. You know, you look at things and you can pinpoint those mismatches and look to target, uh, target some of those things. But... Um, you don't want to play solely geared to just mismatches. You know, I think it, it's proven the way we've played re recently. The more we move the ball, the uh, better off we are. And then the ball just finds the guy or finds that mismatch and we make plays. Guys, we're able to have a big offensive second half even without Raul. Um, just curious, how does that injury look after the game? And what was the biggest challenge, I guess, playing with him? Uh, well, and thankfully, he, he's moving pretty well back there. So it, it looked worse in the moment. I'm sure it's... He's going to be day to day, see how he responds this evening, tomorrow. You know, we have two days, thankfully, before we play again. But um, it's challenging when you get you go down a point guard. 
you know, and it's just, you know, another, another guy that keeps us organized and, and has done a terrific job, you know, even another small defensively who can keep those guys in front. Uh, so the, the good thing is Sato's right there, you know, and, and we've been uh, plagued with injuries and absences all season. So we've had guys plug, you know, that spot and keep us organized on offense. Um, but it's not something you want to do full time. So hopefully he'll, he'll have a speedy recovery and we'll get him back soon. What did you think of the early return to the two-man game that Chris Stapps had with uh, guys like Denny and, and Kuzma? Oh, it's good to see. I mean, it's we've seen some of that all season with our bigs. Um, he adds a different dimension because, you know, his ability to stretch the floor. You know, he's a, still a dynamic roller. He's got length. He can finish in the rim, at the rim. Um, but he also just puts a lot of pressure on you. You have to make a decision. Because if you chase over, um, you got a guy attacking downhill, and if there's any separation, he's going to, slip to space and you, you're hard pressed to get to him and still impact his shot, you know, with him being seven, three. So um, I like that pairing. I like that dynamic. It's something we can expand on, but um, you know, we have a lot already built in that kind of lends to those type situations. So it's just him getting more comfortable mixing in pops and rolls, um, getting more comfortable with the timing of it. But I, I like what I saw. And was there an adjustment you guys made on Batadze? He had such a big first half, and I think he only took one shot in the second. No, it, it really wasn't. It was just a heightened awareness to get back to him. Um, we wanted, we didn't want to get into, you know, just switching, you know, KP on, on their smalls. Their smalls are a handful for our guards. So uh, just, the, just the awareness to get back to him a little bit, and uh, thankfully he didn't hurt us in the second half. And when it comes to your three-point shooting, um, it just continues. You guys keep having big three-point shooting nights. How do you explain this happening uh, right after you remove Beal and Bertans from the rotation, given those guys have combined to make like 3,000 threes in their careers? I, I don't think it's anything of, of those two, you know, being in or out. Um, I think, when, you know, the, the way we've moved the ball and, and the way it's, you know, um, we've had a lot of assists. You know, obviously that, that co coincides with making shots that we were generating a lot of those shots early in the season. We just weren't making them. So it's easy to say, well, you know, we're, we're shooting it well now. Well, I thought we were generating a lot of the same looks early um, and we just didn't get the payoff. And that was the part of the struggle offensively is just stay the process, stay the course. It will average out, you know, it's deflating in the moment when, you know, you do good things and you don't see the benefit, but I'm glad, we, I'm glad that things have started to turn and we're seeing the, the payoff right now. Coach. Uh, just talk about what you're trying to carry over from this game going into the long road trip this week. Well, I, you know, we talked about it right after the game. It's, you know, that collective spirit we're playing with, you know, that's got to travel with us. You know, and I know we're going to L.A. And, you know, sometimes when you go back to uh, situations where guys played one one place and you know, they, they want to do a little bit too much or do too, uh, do more, um, just stay within what we're doing. You know, I think what we're doing is is, is fine. One thing we have to bring with us is our defense, you know, and it's um, not for lack of effort. It's you know, I think we're playing really hard, uh, but we have to find ways to tighten things up a bit and, uh, you know, do a bit, little, little better job on that end of the floor. Neil. Coach, you know, I think a month ago we talked about, you know, you wanted Denny to be a bit more decisive just in the decisions as soon as he gets the ball, you know, today between the one time that, you know, he drove to his right, seemed like he tried to go for a dunk finish. KP cleaned it up. Same thing, you know, on the alley-oop, he just, you know, immediately drove, got rid of it. How have you seen, you know, him progress in the last, you know, say, month or so? Well, I think, you know, there's going to be ebbs and flows to any player. Um, it's a long season, but, you know, especially a young player, um, and at times it's a confidence thing, you know, and I think that's just the messaging for him is, you know, not only do we believe in him as a staff, uh, but his, his teammates do. And we want him to stay aggressive, you know, just be decisive, play downhill, play to your strength. Uh, so I love it. You know, I don't care if, it, you know, they want to try and block every single one of those. Uh, they're not going to block them all. And the amount of pressure the force that puts on the rim, it's going to open up a lot of things. So the fact that he's playing downhill is just another dimension for him. Uh, but being decisive, you know, being quick with his decisions is very important. Thanks, Coach. Wayne. How you doing, Coach? Um, just wanted to get what were some of your positives that you really liked from tonight's game? Just the energy level. You know, I thought we, um, you know, we, we played hard all for the entire game. 
Uh, sure, there were some mistakes, uh, some coverage mistakes, some communication mistakes. Um, but I just thought our effort was great. Um, you know, it's it's a tough out because this team puts a lot of pressure on you. And, you know, we're, we're saying you got to be in the gaps and shrink and contain the ball. But then you also have to get out because they've got terrific three-point shooters as well. So um, being able to do both and good teams can do that. So it's it's a good thing, too, that we uh, offensively have continued the trend. So all in all, a good team win. You know, you have seven guys in double figures. You know, I think another 30 plus assist night. Uh, you get to the get to the line. You get to the paint. So there's some good numbers to you know we can kind of look back and be proud of. But uh, you know we can't be satisfied. You know, continue to try and tighten things up, but reduce some of the slippage areas and uh, get ready for a long road trip. And lastly, coach, a while back you were saying you're going to be in games late. Uh, you were in the in this homestand. You were in on uh, games late, and just going forward, how do you like the, that mentality that you've seen from the team? Well, just being able to play with some poise. Um, we know we're we're not going to blow teams out every night, so um, there's going to be a lot of grind out games, and we're going to have to find ways to win. Sometimes late in the fourth, you know, and it's you know uh, easy to say your offense is going to carry the day, but defensively we got to you know mix in stops. We got to make sure we rebound, um, but. We're going to find ourselves in those one, two, three possession games. Um, the, the more we can do that and come out on top, I think the better we are for it. It's these are all lessons, you know, for myself, for, the, for this young team. Um, we're going to have to grow through this. So uh, value and understand each possession on both sides of the ball are critical in those moments. I think that's kind of the takeaway. But you know, when you when you win a game, and uh, you can certainly feel better about it. But we'll, we'll see. I mean, there's going to be a lot of games like this, and. Uh, we have to find ways to pull pull them away, pull them out. Kyle, what was it? Uh, how did you enjoy playing alongside Chris Stops Porzingis? Oh, it was phenomenal. Uh, you know, teams can't just load up on me. Um, you know, just having an extra guy out there um, that causes a lot of threat to many defenses. Um, you know, with him, he's so versatile. You know, being able to pop, um, but also if he pops, you run him off. He's able to put the ball on the ground. Um, obviously, you know what he can do in the post, but uh, tonight he just made really, really good reads, you know, outside of just shooting and scoring. But, um, you know, um, you know, knowing when people are, are, are digging on him and kicking out to easy, easy threes or whatnot, you know, it was great. So, um, you know, we got a lot to you know continue to work on and improve and, and learn each other, but um, I thought it was great. You're used to seeing a lot of amazing things on the court in this league. But when a seven foot three guy is as skilled as he is and yet can also track complete a track down block like he did, how unusual is that combination? Uh, I mean, uh, it's not really seven three people that really shoot threes in the league. Um, so, I mean, there's one. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the unicorn. So, you know, be able to shoot threes and, like you said, chase down block, that's tough. Um, so, no, he's a hell of a player. Since obviously Prisink is a special, like you just said, but adding a player like him at this point in the season, when it's like you're through the slot, there's 20 games left, and you're still trying to get something done, how much energy or buzz or whatever does that inject? Do you feel something like that tonight? Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, everyone's excited. Um, you know, we're excited to play every night. You know, we're, we're, we're blessed to come out and play the game that we love. And, you know, you should have motivation just just from that. But, you know, adding a guy like KP and, you know, he, he's a really good dude. And, you know, ever since he's got here, um, you know, everyone has gravitated to him. He's gravitated people and, um, you know, just a great person to be around. So obviously happy to see him back on the court. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure I can speak for everybody with that, you know, knowing, you know, um, you know, he's been really good this year, you know, first and foremost, outside of, you know, when he was injured. Um, so to have him back, it's been great. Um, have you had the chance as of yet to develop that much on court chemistry with him tonight? Like how much have you guys gotten to play together? For, that's the first time we played together. Um, hasn't been in practice at all, really. Um, and if he has, he's usually been on the second unit, you know, cause we're still trying to integrate him, but, but, um, I mean, it'll be easy, you know, I, I'm pretty high IQ type of player. So, um, you know, when I understand what he likes, where he likes the ball. Uh, and, you know, we find two our pick and roll, four or five, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough to guard. Obviously, you and uh, you and Kristaps uh, helped uh, the, the free throw margin a lot. And you had talked a lot about that recently. 
Um, just what was it like uh, you guys being able to get a lot more free throw attempts than you've been used to lately? Um, I mean, it felt good, but we'll see about next game. You know, let's see. Um, you know, you can just sit up here and be like, oh, it feels great, wonderful, you know, having a guy to get your free throw line. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's on us. It's on the refs. You know, for us, we have to drive hard and attack. You know, it was a great place tonight. You've seen Denny. Um, two plays, he didn't get fouls. But, you know, it just just us realizing that, you know, we got to stop complaining. We got to get to the rim, go hard. One time he dunked. Second time, he tried to get a dunk. Missed it. KP got the, uh, the tip in with, like, two, two to go. But, you know, just having that mentality of, of okay, I'm going to go to the rim and I'm going to try to make something happen. Either teammates going to be open or I'm going to try to finish strong and, you know, put on the refs at that point. And if we have the mentality, then, um, you know, it can it can carry over. So you guys had some lineups tonight where the, the shortest player on the court was six, seven. Um, what is that element like where now you guys can um, put so much size on the floor at the same time? Well, um, I think the biggest thing is just uh, switchability, uh, being able to um, guard one through five. You know, you can switch same size. Um, it, it's never really uh, a problem. You know, maybe sometimes with a guard and uh, the five man on them, but, um, you know, we have a lot of in interchangeability and, um, you know, as long as we stay solid out there, obviously defensively, and we just make the right play offensively, you know, um, you can play with that much size. So. When Kristaps is like at the top of the key and on the elbows, how does that affect kind of what you want to do? Is that much of a change for you? Is it, does it free up the offense? Just what does that what does that kind of look do for you guys? Uh, I mean, it frees it up. You know, um, you know, let's say I'm on the wing, he's at the top of the key, and um, you know, usually that big man is just going to sit right there in the gap. You know, obviously because Gaff is not a shooter, and um, you know, they'll still be there with TB. You know, because I'm one of the main focuses, so um, they can't do that anymore because I'm just going to throw it to him. And if he's at the elbow, then we play split game, we play that action. So. Um, you know, we don't have it all figured out. This is the first time of us playing in history. So, um, you know, we just got to keep growing. So I just wanted to ask you about the comment Spencer Dinwiddie made over the weekend. Um, he said that he was asked to pass more, shoot less, specifically to get shots for you and KCP. Just um, I mean, you know, I'm sure if you go back to uh, tidbits, um, you know, I know I always said I wanted him to be aggressive. I know Brad always wanted him to be aggressive. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, it's, you know, we're past that, honestly. You know, we're focused on the guys that are here. And, um, you know, we're all motivated to take that next step right now. So. Neil. Kuz, uh, about a month ago, one of the things Wes said about Denny was that he was hoping that, you know, he would have better decisiveness and just, you know, okay, pass the ball, shoot the ball, drive the ball. Um, how have you seen him improve in that facet recently? It seemed like, you know, the alley-oop to Porzingis, you know, made a quick decision, things like that. Um, I mean, he, you know, he's kind of been up and down, but, um, you know, that's expected with young players. Uh, he's only in his second year, right? So... Um, he's got a lot of basketball to continue to play and grow. Um, you know, if I'm not mistaken, he didn't, uh, he was hurt a little bit his rookie year. So um, you got to, you know, look at, you know, the amount of games he's played. And, you know, for him, it's all about, you know, like coach said, being decisive. Um, you know, am I going to put the ball on the ground? Or am I going to shoot it or am I going to pass it? You know, and having to make, you know, those type of reads in, in milliseconds. Um, you know, it's real challenging for, for a young player. I know it was for me. Um, and it still is for me, but, you know, he's just doing a good job. He's really receptive, uh, takes criticism. He's always in the gym and um, he's going to continue to get better because he has those type of uh, characteristics. So. Thanks, Cruz. Christos. Hey, Cruz, great game, great win, first of all. Uh, speaking about the KP and his presence on the floor, is the, the piece that you needed before to make a final push about the play, the playing tournament. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's this uh, obviously it's a real exciting time for us uh, to add a, a player of his caliber this late in the season. Um, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can, you know, get what I said before, but you know, he's a great, talented player. Um, you know, uh, underrated rim protector, as we've seen tonight. Um, 
you know, he causes a lot of tension. So, uh, you know, for us, we just have to figure out a way to, uh, you know, play connective um, offensively and defensively with him and um, just try to finish it out. You know, anything can happen over the next 20 games. And, you know, we're just trying to improve day by day. So how did the debut go? Um, Wes said he was a little bit surprised with your pleasantly surprised with your level of conditioning. How did it feel to be back out there? <laughs> it felt good. Um, I was just happy to finally be done with the individual work and be able to play. Um, it's never fun to be out and be doing all the conditioning and all that. So um, happy to be out there. Was on minutes restriction, but tried to stay calm, not to do too much, uh, play the right way. And, and yeah, and most importantly, we got the win. So I'm extremely happy. What do you make of your efficiency? I mean, you scored 25 points on in 21 minutes. <laughs> just what did you make of that? Yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, I just kind of played my game and guys found me. Some easy situations, knocked down some shots. As I said, didn't really try to force too much, just try to play my game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was, a, it's been a smooth transition all the way around here. Just the first day I got here, felt comfortable now with the guys. First game together, really hadn't really even practiced together. Just went straight into the game and felt really comfortable out there with everybody. So, you know, that's, that's credit to my teammates that, that are finding me and, and know, you know, the way I play. And just right away, we, we, we got off to a good start. Yeah, like how much of this system or I don't know how many like specific plays you were running out there, but how much of this like allows you to play your way? Like, d does it suit you at all? Yeah, I think uh, the coaching staff did a phenomenal job too of finding and, and putting me in the right situations and, and breaking down my game and, and looking at where I'm most comfortable. And yeah, as I said, just a smooth transition. First game. Um, just felt really good out there and, and happy to be with the team and, and looking forward to the next one and, and, and so on. So um, I'm honestly really just, just happy. What have these last few weeks been like for you as you join the new team? And I'm sure you want to debut and the medical staff kind of plays it safe uh, with you and the injury. What, what it was like? Yeah. Just, I mean, just, it's never fun to be out. It's never fun. You know, it's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes. Everybody might think that, you know, you're just out there sitting on a bench and cheering your teammates on, but you put in a lot of work and treatment and and all that. And it's not my favorite part to do, but but that's it's what I need to do to to get healthy, you know, and be healthy and stay on the floor. Um, and then make sure I, I take care of, of you know, the, the weight room work and all that to make sure my body's is feeling good for the game. So uh, I think I'm in good hands and and uh, I'm taking a step by step slowly and and the minute restriction, which I've never really had that low of a minute restriction in my career. Um, but, you know, with my heart, it's hard to accept that because I want to play more. But with my head, I understand that, you know, I have to respect their decision. And, and they're just looking out for my health and for my, you know, long term, you know, well-being. You had the alley-oop uh, toss by Denny Avdia. Crowd went crazy. What was that moment like? It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, great pass. Um, just yeah, all, just have fun out there, um, and just took it step by step. You know, got the first little touch touch uh, shot in, pass from Kuz, Ish, Thomas. Everybody was great finding me, and, and then in, then he threw the lob at the end. Um, it was a great moment for the first game to be here in, in Washington, and looking forward to many more moments like that. In general, what was it like to play in front of your new home crowd? Uh, what was it like playing in front of this crowd? Uh, it was good. I think the support was, was, uh, was. I think the fans were into the game. You know, there were moments where we went down a little bit, but then we came back, and that kind of got everybody into the game. And then we had some good highlights. And Ish hit a huge shot. Kuz got some nice plays down the down the stretch. Danny was aggressive. Um, it was just. I think at least I felt like it was all around like a fun game. And 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 as I said, most importantly, we got the we got the win at the end. How do you think you'll need to feel fully up to speed in terms of how you can play off your Yeah. Um, it's always a process, you know. It's always, I think, I think um, how many more, more games we have, like 20 left in the season. I think with each game, we're just going to get better and, you know, go into the off season. Um, hopefully, we can have a postseason and, and uh, make some noise, which is the goal. Um, if we do that, that's going to give us more time to play together and, and get feel for each other. 
Um, but if not, then, you know, these 20 games that we have left will be a good, um, like a good, good stretch to get, to get kind of feel for each other out there on the floor into the next season, you know? Um, so yeah, each game, I expect us to kind of keep building from, from here on out. Size possibilities that you can feel out there, the lineups you guys could put out there with yourself at the five and Cruz at the four, and then you had Sadie at the one. I mean, just one of the bigger lineups I can think of possibilities. But. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think also um, playing alongside Cruz is great for me because what happened in Dallas sometimes they would put the five on one of our three men. And here they can't really do that. You know, everybody can shoot and Cruz is a four that can do everything. So if they put five on Cruz, that's a mismatch. And so they can't really do that either. So um, I'm excited to play with him. And, and, and as I said, just keep building from here on out and, and get a feel for each other and, and just take off. How valuable is it for you to um, just get your legs under you and, and kind of have this stretch of time before you play, ideally with Brad? <laughs> uh, yeah, no. This this is great great opportunity for me. Um, I feel I feel good here. Honestly, I feel good, and I just want to play more. I, I want to play more, and I got some conditioning in right now uh, to make sure I get in shape as 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 or in better shape as soon as possible. Um, and I think you know a few more games, and and I'll be f feeling pretty good physically uh, to where I need to be, and and then just keep building and 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 look forward. Um, Hopefully, you know, we'll have Brad next season. I don't, uh, I don't know what the situation is, but I would love to play with him and um, and Kuz and, and the rest of the guys. So there's, uh, I think there's some some exciting things to look forward to. You have more conditioning after this? Right yeah, now. yes. What do you do? I, I got on the bike, just sprints on the bike and uh, got my heart rate up. So, yeah. I have one more. Um, yeah. Uh, Wes and Koo say that's why they call him the unicorn because he's shooting threes at seven foot three. How do you feel about that nickname? Uh, you know, at first I didn't like it. I was like, well, what is that unicorn? You know, I never heard that word before, but um, <laughs> KD gave me that nickname and um, and it stuck. It stuck at first. I was kind of, as I said, didn't like it that much, but but um, but now now I like it. Now I actually like it. And um, I think kind of. Um, you know, represents the way I play. I could play all over the floor with my height and with my uh, length. So uh, I try to embrace that and, 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 you know, try to play like a unicorn, you know? How do you say unicorn in Russian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you, guys. Oh, Thanks. wait. Just a couple questions on Zoom. Yep. We'll start with Neil. Hey, KP, kind of building off of Ava's question, even though, you know, you would have rather been playing the first, you know, couple of weeks that you were here um, and you were ramping up. Does that time that you were able to, A, just to get to know your teammates a little bit better and B, get to know just what West schemes are, does that help you kind of just hit the ground running now? Uh, definitely. I think it's just, it's a big change, you know, when you get traded from one place to another, um, not only on the floor, on the court, but just overall life, you know, you got to find a new place to live and everything. So there's a lot of changes and, um, and, and this time definitely helped me to get, get to know my teammates a little bit off the floor, um, how they are in the locker room, um, and just overall the organization, uh, the medical staff, the doctors here and, 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 and so on. So, um, definitely gave me more time to be more comfortable with, with, with this setting and, um, and oh, at the end, all those little things adding up just helps you um, helps you to 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 adapt as, as quickly as possible and show that on the court. And on the alley you um, from Denny, you know, you kind of just pointed up, signaled to him. Is that something that you guys had ever practiced before in practice, uh, or do you know? Is there any limit? Do you think to you know how high he can throw that before you know it's out of your reach? Yes, right now, yes. I need I need a few more games and a few more good good uh, sessions in the weight room to get my legs to where I, where they need to be. Um, but yeah, I think with with my length, you know, I'm not the most athletic guy, but but I can jump a little bit with my length and and I can get pretty high. Um, but no, we haven't even, like me me and Denny, we haven't even had a chance to uh, to practice together. So that was just kind of um, 
just kind of out of feel, you know, he, he threw it up there. I pointed up and he threw it and uh, made that, made that big play. Then he made that big play. And, and it was an important one for us to close out the game. Thanks KP. Thank you. We're good. Nope. Two more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, KP, great game, great win, first of all. Your first game in uh, DC was so impressive as your first bucket when you presented in the team. So I would like to ask you to, to see your teammates and the coaching staff has all that confidence and all that faith to you. What does it mean? What does it, how, how impacted to you and your game? Sorry, what was the last part? How does that all that faith and all that confidence that uh, your teammates and the coaching staff have to you, what does it mean? How impact to you, to you and your game? Yeah, no, definitely. As I said, the kind of the organization just welcomed me with open arms from from the first moment I got here, and it's it sucks to get traded to a team and not be able to to play right away. Um, so I had to do treatment and and then you know lift and and do as much as I could on the court. Uh, so I was really excited for the moment when I finally get to go on the court and play for this team and this organization. Um, and, and and credit to to everybody, the coaching staff and just the whole organization really um, to help me with the transition. Um, and yeah, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to to giving more to this organization for for betting on me and, and giving me this opportunity. So um, as I said, I'm, I'm excited for what's coming. Last question to Wayne. Good, KP. Uh, just following off your last statement, uh, what excites you so much about this roster and this opportunity here watching? Um, I think what what excites me about the opportunity mm -hmm. um, and the roster. I think just a new new setting, new um, just just it's, it's a new place. So it's always exciting. It's like every season in the preseason, you're so excited for the season. You know, everybody's got got this energy, you know, and it's, it's the same feeling now, just going to a new team. Um, everything is new. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me. Um, and I think with everybody being healthy um, and if everything goes as, as we would like to, then, then we could really make some noise going forward. And, um, and at the end, that's, that's what I've, I'm brought here for to win games. You know, I'm not, uh, not a rookie anymore. And, and now I have to, I have to show, um, what I can on the court, so I think, and uh, and I'm in good hands um, uh, from all from all points, uh, all point of, I say, you know what I meant, and <laughs> you know, and, yeah, yeah. and 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 people, you know, are, are taking good care of me, uh, for me, and supporting me to show my best basketball, and that's what I'm excited for. So, um, yeah. I just keep saying I'm excited, I'm happy, and it's you know it's true. So looking forward to what's coming. And last one, KP. Uh, just what's one positive from your debut that you'll always remember from tonight's game? One, 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 one positive from tonight's one positive. your home debut that you'll always remember. Um, one positive. Hmm. It's hard to say one one like one play or one moment, but just the overall game and just um, I think I think the first thing that comes to mind is just the, 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 my teammates and, and and the group that we had. It just kind of felt natural that we were playing, uh, the way the ball was moving. Everybody was happy for each other, um, and I think that's that's one thing I'll take away and 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 that we have to you know keep that as, as a group going forward, which is, you know, extremely important to have that, that kind of chemistry.